Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comment. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. Certainly a little chilly this morning in Chicago, but it is the season. Uh, the three things that I think the markets are looking at most right now, number one, when we look at global weather, we had some rains in the former Soviet Union that might be offering some resistance to the wheat market. Uh, the forecast in Brazil, especially the dry areas of northern Brazil, is a little bit drier today. That might be helping uh, soybeans. And here in the United States, States, the two-week forecast calls for a continued uh, normal, maybe un above normal temps, and uh, maybe normal uh, precip. So that, that's a good forecast, I think, for much of the U.S. Midwest. The second thing is we have a report tomorrow. The USDA is going to come out with their November estimate of corn and soybeans, and then they'll be coming out with the U.S. supply and demand for corn, beans, and wheat, and a global supply and demand for corn, beans, and wheat. I think the market is expecting a a little bit bigger soybean crop. Uh, the U.S. carryouts, corn, beans, and wheat uh, may be going up. And then uh, globally, not much change is expected, except we'll be watching to see if they lower world wheat production a little bit. When we look at prices, um, I think that a lot of this information is kind of plugged in. Uh, the third thing is the outside markets. Uh, we've seen the dollar strength. Uh, we've seen uh, talk about the China economy trying to improve. And then we also are watching the Fed to see if they raise U.S. interest rates in uh, December. I think over the weekend, some of the trade data out of China was a little bit disappointing. That might offer some resistance to the marketplace. And we're still kind of dealing with too much commodity supply globally. And if we're in a deflationary phase, that also could affect uh, the demand side of things. So we've got a lot of moving parts here. I think uh, some people think that beans might be supported nearby by the demand. Uh, long term, without a South American weather problem, prices might be at the higher end of, of a trading range. And they, most people think that corn and wheat is just in a trading range until we know more about 2016 global supply. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. And have a safe and profitable trading day.